you're editing on CapCut, you need to stop right now because just got crazy. They are literally stealing from you. Look, I get it. CapCut is sleek, it's fast, it's really easy to do the green screen effect. In fact, I use it all the time to edit some ads. But I just want something quick and dirty without having to open up Premiere Pro, have my laptop go. And there isn't really another app out there because Premiere Pro Rush was a fucking fail. But there's one massively, unbelievably huge problem that has just occurred that I need you guys to know. Especially a lot of you guys that edit on CapCut. And this goes way beyond subscription fees and putting all of the good tools behind a paywall like it did. Can't lie, this might actually be the end of CapCut. CapCut's new terms now give the company ByteDance a perpetual royalty-free license to use, modify, and monetize anything you're editing. So what does that mean? It means that if you're editing a really cool slick car video, they they own that. If you're editing a video of your client and they use their face and voice, they own that. If you're taking this clip and re-editing it and doing something on CapCut, they also own that. And that is forever, even after you delete your account. So let me break down why this is crazy and why you actually should worry about it and not just leave it as it's like, oh, but I don't think it'll really affect me. Because here's the thing, like say you're editing a video for a client and now CapCut has rights to it. CapCut can literally take that video and use it for marketing and advertising. It can take that clip of your client. It can the clip of you and your family and put it on advertising maybe as a TikTok ad. Now you might think, oh, not so bad, right? Marketing is marketing. But what if your client doesn't want that? That could land you in a lot of trouble. That can get you sued. And they can sell that information to whoever they want as well. So you don't know where that's going to go. And they do that without needing your permission at all anytime. You might not even know it's happening. So if you're someone that makes money from video editing, this is a huge, huge problem. So as a professional editor and someone that uses this tool, I'm actually pretty annoyed. Like I've done sponsored deals with CapCut. I've used it in a lot of videos on this channel. I would really ever trash a software but this is actually dumb like think about it from a business perspective you sign ndas with clients so that it builds trust and capcut is just doing that without you even knowing like how do you explain this to a client that their footage of their business or their likeness might show up in another ad somewhere else you, you just don't so i don't really understand the reason for this it's not all doom and gloom capcut is still a pretty elite software if you're someone that can probably live without that issue then great you know there's new updates where there's now rulers and different sizings and things are faster and better and there's ai models and there's also a really nice guide for a safe margin so you can see what the icons look, which a lot of editors make the mistake of putting the text too low or off screen. And the same with making advertising too. So there is some good stuff there. That being said, if you're an editor that only edits on CapCut and this is very risky for you, if you are dealing with big clients, then you might need to switch to something like Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. <laughs> sorry, sorry. DaVinci Resolve. The other one. Yeah, you can try captions, but I'm not the biggest fan of it just yet. That being said, I guess we do have to talk a little bit about where the next stage of video editing is going to go because there's going to be better, more powerful video editing software is coming out that not only can do everything that CapCut can do and Premiere Pro can do, but will make it faster and have AI tools to leverage because it makes sense. There are creators coming out every single day. People know that making content is very important. So obviously there will be companies that are going to improve their softwares. So leave a comment in the chat if you think this actually affects you or if it doesn't. And if it doesn't, then awesome. You can watch these videos for some tutorials for CapCut. If it does, then here are some tutorials for Premiere Pro. Otherwise, that's a weird one. I'll see you in the next video.